Chapter 14 Then I saw the Lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him were 144,000 who had his name and his Father's name written on their foreheads. And I heard a sound from heaven like the roaring of a great waterfall or the rolling of mighty thunder. It was like the sound of many harpists playing together. This great choir sang a wonderful new song in front of the throne of God and before the four living beings and the twenty-four elders. And no one could learn this song except those 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth. For well, they are spiritually undefiled, pure as virgins, following the Lamb wherever He goes. They have been purchased from among the people on the earth as a special offering to God and to the Lamb. No falsehood can be charged against them. They are blameless. And I saw another angel flying through the heavens carrying the everlasting good news to preach to the people who belong to this world, to every nation, tribe, language, and people. Fear God, he shouted. Give glory to him, for the time has come when he will sit as judge. Worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea and all the springs of water. Then another angel followed him through the sky, shouting, Babylon is fallen! That great city is fallen! Because she seduced the nations of the world and made them drink the wine of her passionate immorality. Then a third angel followed them, shouting, Anyone who worships the beast and his statue, or who accepts his mark on the forehead or the hand, must drink the wine of God's wrath. It is poured out undiluted into God's cup of wrath, and they will be tormented with fire and burning sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and the Lamb. The smoke of their torment rises forever and ever, and they will have no relief day or night. For they have worshipped the beast and his statue, and have accepted the mark of his name. Let this encourage God's holy people to endure persecution patiently, and remain firm to the end, obeying his commands and trusting in Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Write this down. Blessed are those who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit. They are blessed indeed, for they will rest from all their toils and trials, for their good deeds follow them. Then I saw the Son of Man sitting on a white cloud. He had a gold crown on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand. Then an angel came from the temple and called out in a loud voice to the one sitting on the cloud, Use the sickle, for the time has come for you to harvest. The crop is ripe on the earth. So the one sitting on the cloud swung his sickle over the earth, and the whole earth was harvested. After that, another angel came from the temple in heaven, and he also had a sharp sickle. Then another angel, who has power to destroy the world with fire, shouted to the angel with the sickle, Use your sickle now to gather the clusters of grapes from the vines of the earth, for they are fully ripe for judgment. So the angel swung his sickle on the earth and loaded the grapes into the great winepress of God's wrath. And the grapes were trodden in the winepress outside the city, and blood flowed from the winepress in a stream about 180 miles long and as high as a horse's bridle.